What is conservative? There are at least two kinds of conservative. One is encapsulated in catchwords, and I assume you have these in Portuguese as well, as reduce, reuse, recycle, or sustainability, or make a smaller footprint. In other words, respect for and conservation of Earth's ecosystems and its myriad cultures, both human and animal. And of course, Brazil is a site for this, especially the Amazon, Amazonian region. What are you going to do with your forests? How many more cattle do you want to raise for meat to eat and for the cows to fart methane and destroy the uh, ozone and things? Uh, or what, what about the peoples who live there? You know, when I, I haven't been to uh, Brazil often. I've been to Brazil twice, actually. But I do know there's a big difference between Recife and uh, 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 the Northeast and Sao Paulo, which reminds me is, is drawn towards Argentina in many ways. This city reminds me to some degree of Buenos Aires in a certain way, uh, certainly different than the, the Northeast. And then there's the interior and, and there's Rio. I mean, there's these uh, different kinds of, 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 of cultures operating here. And, and uh, your huge natural resources and the question of conservation then is what, is what use do one put to these resources? Are they there to be exploited? Does nature exist for the benefit of humankind? What responsibilities do humans have towards other parts of nature? Even when I say does nature exist for humankind, I'm making a bifurcation, a division that ought not to be made. We are of nature, not apart from it. Uh, my religious beliefs are uh, betrayed by saying we and nature are co-created and co-creating each other. We're not a special creation. We didn't emerge on the last day of creation uh, as something special to have dominion over the world. And that is the myth of the Old Testament, of course, that uh, God gives to Adam and Eve dominion over all the animals and plants. And that's a very, very deep ideology which I think we need to question profoundly and have questioned profoundly. This kind of uh, conservatism, the kind I've talked about, reuse, recycle, sustainability, is uh, non-interventionist except for the intervention on behalf of the endangered. So that's one kind of conservatism, right? Conserve. Now the very different kind of conservatism represented by the Tea Party, which is a political party in the United States, can be traced back in the United States to the pre-Civil War party called the Know Nothing Party, which was officially called the American Party, whose membership was reserved exclusively for white Protestant men. The Tea Party Know Nothing conservatism is actually radical in tune with the anti-authoritarian avant-garde of the 19th and 20th centuries. So I'm making a very peculiar uh, alliance here. I'm saying that the avant-garde of the 19th and 20th centuries, which was bring everything down, change everything, was to some degree an alliance with today's right wing. While the contemporary avant-garde, which is progressive in the sense of conservation and reuse and recycle, is in uh, uh, alliance ideologically with an older form of conservatism, perhaps Edmund Burke's form of conservatism. Again, I. I am very aware of the language gap and the, uh, of the, perhaps the discourse gap there, but we'll take it as far as I can take it with you. This historical avant-garde, that is a Dada, surrealism, uh, 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 Vienna actionists, what have you, a European avant-garde, uh, from surrealism and the situationists, from Jarry to Artaud to the Living Theater, from Trotsky to Mao, Che Guevara to Franz Fanon, that avant-garde, that is the artistic avant-garde, the Maoist avant-garde, the Che Guevara avant-garde, the Franz Fanon avant-garde, strongly advocated disruption, overthrow, and anarchy, a revolutionary cathartic as a prelude to a new world order. In other words, we revolt, we throw away everything, and then we build it perfect. A shopping mall, probably. 